Um, thank you for being here, Pierre Modet. Thank you very much. Thank you for your kind invitation to, to make a few introductory comments to the second Open Geneva Conference of 2019. It's a, a great pleasure to be here tonight, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends. The exponential development of computing power and the transformative expansion of capacities to connect digitally do have profound effects on our lives. Digital tools can positively transform our capacity to deliver new solutions in almost every sector. But this profound transformation also creates significant challenges we need to tackle. We just have to look at the headlines to understand how the internet can be misused to spread division, distrust, repression, hate, and so much more. Cyber attacks do impact governments, industries, and civil society. They are only going to become more prevalent. And this phenomenon already has colossal proportion. According to the latest estimates, cybercrime costs between US dollar 400 and 600 billion globally. And this doesn't account for the significant costs of disruption on societies at large. Are we equipped well enough with our defenses, our rules, and the capacity to enforce them? And why is Geneva ideally placed to make a positive difference on this front? Ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, Geneva already plays a very significant role in digital issues. Over half of its governance issues are taught in Geneva. This strong geographic concentration of world-class expertises gives us a great starting point. But this isn't, this isn't announced anymore, given the scale and complexity of the challenges. Indeed, connection among actors in the digital space has not kept pace with the new technologies. Those are transversal, yet discussions are still siloed. This needs to change and Geneva has the capacity to be part of that change. From the high-level digital cooperation panel of the UN, whose secretariat is based partly in Geneva, to the WEF's Global Cybersecurity Center, from a world-class academic hub to top-notch business engagement and vibrant civil society, there is a rich ecosystem here, which connects digital issues across interdisciplinary areas. To succeed, we also cannot just focus on technological or legal solutions. We need to bring ethics and philosophy into the game. We must also concentrate on the fundamental importance of inclusiveness, education, and resilience. Last but not least, I am persuaded that we must absolutely start to communicate in a less technocratic way if we want broader impact. This brings me to the essential role of open innovation and to the great value add of Open Geneva. This brilliant festival has grown so much since its inception. It turns, into, in, sorry, it turns Geneva into a republic of innovators involving the many rather than the few, demonstrating that pushing the boundaries is more and more about broad co-creation and shared knowledge. Open Geneva does also highlight the fact that innovation is meant to be fun and playful. Thus, it helps to summon teams and can gear up towards the foundation of real startups as well as providing positive returns for society at large. Thank you so much to Thomas and the whole team around him for the amazing work you are doing. The state of Geneva is very proud to strongly support Open Geneva. We are going to follow the results of your hackathons and discussions very closely. Ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, Geneva is the place where technology meets humanity. It has been the case since the foundation of the Red Cross. It's more crucial than ever before that we build and had proud heritage. Thank you very much for your attention and have a great time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.